Hey medicos, welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to talk on instruments for obstetric and gynecology. The objective of this lecture is at the end, you should know the most commonly asked questions about instrument on viva table and you should be able to identify the instrument correctly. So this is our objective. Let's start with our first instrument that is seam speculum. So this is the seam speculum. Examiner at least expect you should know the name. If your instrument is seam speculum, so you must know how to hold the seam speculum. So this is the position. This is how we hold the seam speculum. Now this is our handle and this is the blade. Then the next question of the examiner is what are the uses? So the first use is it is for visualization of cervix and vagina. The second use is IUCD insertion and removal. It can be used in a radiology department for hysterosalpingography. It is also used in operations like dilation and curettage, polypectomy, hysteroscopy, vaginal hysterectomy. So these are the uses of seam speculum. Your examiner might ask what are the obstetric uses. Then you should know in first trimester, seam speculum used for suction and evacuation of vesicular mole. In second and third trimester, it is used for evaluation of antepartum hemorrhage, also for cervical encirclage. If you have this instrument, then 90% of the examiner are going to ask you what are the disadvantages. Then you should know it needs AV retractor for the better visualization and assistant required in OT procedures. How can we sterilize this instrument? Yes, autoclaving and boiling. What is the contraindication for this instrument? So you should know if the female is unmarried, then we can't use this instrument. So this is the contraindication. And this is also MCQ in your PG preparation. So this is all about seam speculum. Our next instrument is seams anterior vaginal wall retractor. Look over here. This is our instrument. You can see it is a long metallic instrument with slightly angulated fenestrated ends and a central handle, which is also known as shaft. You can see these are the serrations or the fenestrated ends and the significance is to fit into the rigosides of vagina. So it can give the better grip. Then what are the uses? Yes, I just said in our previous instrument, it is used with seam speculum, right? And which sterilization method we use here? Yes, autoclaving and boiling, just like the seam speculum. Now, our next instrument is uterine curate. So look over here. This is the uterine curate. Here we have the sharp end. Yes, this is the serrated handle. And in the opposite side, we have the blunt end. Okay. So this is the uterine curate. Now what are the uses? Yes, the uses are first diagnostic like for evaluation of TB endometritis, postmenopausal bleeding, endocervical curettage. These are the diagnostic uses. It is also used for blunt curettage for incomplete, missed or septic abortion. If you have this instrument in your hand in front of your examiner then you must know what are the complications and the complications are there can be uterine perforation yes we curate the uterus so there can be uterine perforation or there might be hemorrhage okay and what is the sterilization method yes by autoclaving our next instrument is hemostatic forceps which is also known as artery forceps. This is the instrument which is used in many surgical procedures to control the bleeding. Okay. Now, this is our instrument. Look over here. There are two types of hemostatic forceps, straight and curved. In this instrument, there is tapering ends with transverse serrations. Look over here. These are the transverse serration on inner side for hemostasis right here we have the ratchets with finger grip and 
this is the cross joint so these are the parts of hemostatic forceps now what are the uses and i am saying obstetric uses right so what are the uses to secure bleeder before ligation or cauterization for hemostasis to hold ligatures to be kept long if you seen lscs surgery then you might know we hold the ligatures right you can see here this is the picture how we hold the ligatures it is also used to crush the base of fallopian tube in tubal ligation and last one is to hold parietal or visceral peritoneum so these are the uses of hemostatic forceps so this is all about hemostatic forceps our next instrument is punch biopsy forceps look over here here we have the punch biopsy forceps so this is the cup shaped and having square jaws look over here these are the square jaws upper cup having sharp cutting edges and the lower cups hold the tissue look over here this is the sharp cutting edges and this is the angulated handle and in this instrument there is a ratchet just like yes just like the hemostatic forceps with cross joint similar to the hemostatic forceps so this is the parts of punch biopsy forceps now what are the uses yes it is used for cervical punch biopsy it is used for vaginal punch biopsy and this is also used for vulval punch biopsy cervical vaginal and vulval biopsy is taken from the age of ulcer or growth and if any bleeding occurs apply pressure cauterize take figure of eight suture with chromic catgut so this is all about the punch biopsy forceps our next instrument is alice forceps look over here this is the alice forceps and you can see the tips are curved inside and have four to five rat teeth let's zoom out this image these are the teeth okay which fit in one another for a firm grip of a tissue proximal in having finger grips and also have ratchet lock just like hemostatic forceps then we learn about punch biopsy forceps and in also alice forceps but here we have the box joint in about two instrument we see the cross joint and in this instrument we have the box joint now let's about the uses so uses are divided into two parts gynecological and obstetrics so in gynecological it is used to hold rectus sheath while opening and closing the abdominal wall you can see this is the alice forceps used for holding the angle of rectus sheath in vaginal hysterectomy it is also used in the repair of vesico vaginal fistula or rico vaginal fistula it is also used to hold the cervix in trachelorhaphy so these are the gynecological uses what are the obstetric uses in cesarean section to hold the angle of incision to hold the quadrants of cervix during the intercourse these are the use of alice forceps let's talk about our next instrument that is babcock forceps this is our instrument look over here in this instrument there is semicircular fenestrated ultramatic ends which when approximated can hold a tubal structure you can see here this is the ultramatic end there is also ratchet lock and here is also the box joint now what are the uses yes to hold the fallopian tube in tubal sterilization ruptured tubal ectopic pregnancy and in tuboplasty it is used to hold round ligament in round ligament plication in worthins hysterectomy to hold uterus and pelvic lymph node to hold bowel in repair of recto vaginal fistula third degree perineal repair and it is also used to hold bladder in repair of vesico vaginal fistula so these are the uses of babcock forceps you can see here babcock forceps used for holding fallopian tube and you can also see babcock forceps used for holding round ligament our next instrument is sponge holding forceps here we have the sponge holding forceps let's zoom out this image you can see here we have round fenestrated with 
transverse serrations look over here these are the transverse serration and the proximal in having finger rings with ratchet lock and here is also the cross joint then what are the uses the uses are painting and preparing parts pre operatively to apply pressure by means of sponge over deep bleeding points during the pelvic surgery to check hemostasis and in obstetrics it is used to hold gravid cervix during encephalage and also to hold cervix for tracing cervical tear after vaginal delivery so this are the uses of sponge holding forceps look over here sponge holding forceps used for painting before pre operative procedures our last instrument in this lecture is om forceps look over here this is the cup shaped oval fenestrated ends in proximal end having finger rings and no catch the arms with cross joint okay now what are the uses you can see there is a cup shaped oval ends okay it is used to evacuation of vesicular mole to remove the beads of placenta to remove foreign body from uterus and also to remove products of conception when more than 10 weeks of incomplete or inevitable or missed abortion okay these are the uses of om forceps let's revise it quickly so you can know at least name of instrument so we learn about sim speculum this is sims anterior vaginal wall retractor we use this instrument simultaneously then uterine curate hemostatic forceps then we learn about punch biopsy forceps yes you can see then we learn about ellis forceps this is babcox forceps to hold the tubal structure then we learn about sponge holding forceps which is mainly used in painting and preparing parts preoperatively and at last we learn about the om forceps so this is all about instrument in obstetrics and gynecology and stay tuned for the next part of the instrument which is also important for you to score a good marks in your practical viva thanks for watching this video stay tuned with medicos if you are new here then please subscribe our channel medicos